This is what Bloomsday looked like today. Participants taking on nearly seven and a half miles welcomed by blue skies. It's a different look though for the run that's been happening since 1977. Good evening, I'm Ariana Lake. The race went virtual because of the pandemic. Officials extended it to the end of this week because of the hazardous air. Through all these setbacks, people are persevering. Caitlin Knapp talked to some Bloomies about why they decided to still run this year. 2020 has flipped our world upside down, but that didn't stop Bloomsday runners from hitting the course today for Bloomsday's first virtual run. The pandemic has forced changes in our lives, but not everything has to be different. This weekend, Bloomies hit the virtual Bloomsday course to honor this special day. Bloomsday officials encourage people to run where they want, and many chose to stick with the traditional course. Normally, these streets would be closed. Supporters would be cheering on runners. Today, you see people running or walking on the sidewalks, keeping a tradition alive. Some even did the course backwards, a different way for a year like no other. This would be the first year I've missed in like 17 years, so I wasn't going to let everything yeah. going on get in the way of doing another Bloomsday. You got to do Bloomsday if you live in Spokane. It's state law, I think. I'm not sure, but I, I think it is. Today is the only day you'll see people running. Because of the bad air quality, Bloomsday extended the race until next Sunday. There are some things that didn't change though. Bloomies will still receive a yearly finisher t-shirt through the mail by recording their times online. Bloomsday runners said having this virtual day is a sense of normalcy racers said they're happy to have. In Spokane, Caitlin Knapp, 4 News Now.